everyone. You know our next guest is one of Canada's top celebrity chefs. He's the man behind one of Montreal's most famous restaurants of the last 18 years, Garden Manger. So we feel very lucky to having him feed us today. Yes, here to share recipes from his latest cookbook, Chuck's Home Cooking, family favorite recipes from my kitchen to yours. Please welcome back to the show, Chuck Yu. Thank you. We love when you visit. It's yeah, thank wonderful. You. Um, this book is all about sort of your family recipes. So I want to start off by knowing how your cooking for your family differs from cooking for your restaurants. Uh, when you cook at home, you cook for free. <laughs> and, and nobody wants that. But no. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's, it's actually very different, you know, in the sense that, uh, especially now with the way the, the restaurant world is, you know, there's so much competition, there's so much going on. You really want to, I guess, add value mm -hmm. and, and, and make stuff that, you know, people aren't necessarily going to make at home. And like yeah. most of our sauces, the bases take like 36 hours. I, you know, there's a lot of involvement. And so cooking at home is kind of a little bit more relaxing, I find. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, you know, playlist, relax, and, and, and try and enjoy a little bit more as opposed to, like, the hustle and bustle of service that starts at 5.30. Bobby's got this, you know, if... Oh, well, my kids will complain, but, uh, <laughs> you know, if I'm five minutes late, yeah. I mean, it's not the end of the world. In a restaurant, you know, that five minutes could be that a matters. world of a difference. So, yeah. so I think it's a little bit more loose, more, more fun, and... Uh, you know, a little bit less stressful. Yeah, I love that. Well, and you also have to appeal to a large crowd. So I feel like this, you've chosen crowd pleasers here. Yeah. And starting with this uh, savory breakfast bread pudding. Tell us about this while we Ooh. dig in. God, you know, it smells I, good. It was one of those recipes I actually had to uh, write it because it's one of those, you know, whatever you have in the fridge, yeah. uh, you can kind of toss in. So I kind of had to make a decision here because you can make this a thousand times and it could be different a thousand mm -hmm. times. I've you never know? had a savory bread pudding before. This is next level, Good. like indulgent. Yeah. Does it it's, matter what type of bread you use? No, I mean, you. no, you could use, that was. <laughs> any, I mean, any bread you want. Any bread you want. Any I bread mean, that you would eat. Like really, and you could put like, Old pitas with with you know uh, baled bread, uh, yep. croissants. Like you can literally use anything you want, and uh, as long as there's like the base, you know, with eggs and. But you just toss it all in there, and I love it because it's just it's perfect for a sleepover or for you know yeah. you just toss it all in there and kind of just a time put saver in, you know, too. I yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. So good. And get rid of you know we always think of leftovers as for for dinner. Yeah. You know, and sometimes it's like, no, even if you had chicken, you could shred that in there. Anything. Like, it could be anything, and it's it could be brunch, it could be breakfast, it could be dinner as well. Mm -hmm. so we're good. breaking rules. Breaking rules, <laughs> break all the rules. Okay, next we're moving on to your cauliflower salad. How yes. did you make this? This is a gorgeous, like, present dish as well. How did you yes, make this? Yes, yes. Um, well, uh, I'm trying to find something <laughs> smart to say. No, you don't have to. Don't be this, smart. This, don't be smart. Can I be honest just yeah, for honest. once? Yes, Please. do it, do uh, it, do it. Uh, this is literally opening my fridge yes. and I going like, this. oh my God, what am I oh going to make know. for these? And, and it kind of came together, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I had this lying around and, and so uh, it became one of those dishes. My kids love it. Uh, it's kind of a melting pot of everything that I had on hand at the time. So it's like and cauliflower, you've got nuts in there, you've got pears, you've got, is this, what, uh, radicchio? You could use radicchio, and once again, you know, for the recipe, and that day I had radicchio. Okay. Uh, but you could use any type of leaf, really, and I think the kicker in this is the creamy vinaigrette. And yeah. like, I think that's one of the things that's really important in cooking, whether it's at the restaurant, uh, at your house, uh, when you're camping, like, it, you need texture. You need different types of flavors, obviously, but you know we've got the crunch of the nuts. We've got the pears that are nice and soft. soft You've sweet. got the 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 cauliflower is raw, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a bit of crunch there too, and there's mm -hmm. a little bit of bite. So that creaminess from the dressing kind of brings it all it together. It yeah, it's exactly. It pulls it up. And it, it's not more complicated. And you know, for the longest time, I've been telling people, well, except when you want a reservation, come to my restaurant. I'll be taking credit card numbers right <laughs> after this segment. <laughs> You know, I, but I've been encouraging people to cook, you know, and, and try things. And, 
and you can make mistakes. You know, I don't, but I mean, you will. This uh, so good, sets so good. me up perfectly for this next yes. dish because it's a lamb ragu pasta shell uh, number here. Yeah. But I don't know about you guys. I love ordering lamb out. I love when other people make me lamb, but I don't like cooking lamb. Mm. So sell me on this delicious uh, lamb ragu and this pasta I'm dish. Why don't you make cook more lamb at home? I love lamb. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's funny. It's one of those, you know, when I had my kids, uh, all I, in my mind, I was like, oh, here we go, puree everything. And, and I thought, like, the purees were like, a, you know, in my mind, it was like, for seven years, yeah. we'll be puree. And it's like, literally, like, two months, right, of pureeing. And my kids loved, I used to buy these little frozen pucks of, like, pureed meat, and yeah. it was a lamb uh, puree. And my kids would love it, and then they'd burp the lamb, and I'd be like, woo, who's this? And it's a flavor that they've, they've, they love, you know? Sorry. Okay, it's still alive. It might, it might again. The pasta's so fresh, it's jumping yeah, out of the right. plate. That's right, um, that's right. But, but it's, it's one of those flavors that they, you know, they were eating when they were babies, and it's, it's, it's you know, like you said, it's got a lot of personality. Not everybody likes it, but cooking it this way kind of tones it down just a little bit. Yeah. It's very different than, uh, you know, the chops or anything else, so it's a little bit more subtle. Uh, a little bit more inexpensive because yeah. good quality lamb, you know, and, and, you know, I think we've been blessed in this country that we haven't have paid too much for food for the longest time and now it's kind of catching up. Mm -hmm. but, but the reality is, is, you know, good food costs money. Yes, it's true. And, and so I yeah. think we're probably at a point where, you know, we feel like we're paying a lot, but really when you look at the hard work that goes into raising the animals and, and feeding them and, and bringing them to our plate, yeah. there's it's a lot that goes. Possible. So this is kind of okay. like feeding them lamb in a subtle way. And when you add pasta, I mean. And introduce it, it's Done. perfect. Done. We Done. only have like a few seconds left. Let's we want to get to this galette. So 30 seconds, this. tell yes. us everything you can about first. this. For a Thanksgiving feast, it'll be perfect. I mean, this is of the essence, right? Apples right now are, uh, you know, you go apple picking, you have bags and bags, you don't know what to do with them. so. Uh, I've also got purees and stuff like that, but this is, it's kind of a free form galette that's super easy. Break the rules, have fun, make it look like you want, and it's it's delicious, I'm assuming. I'm picking it up. Chuck, you're delicious! Thank, thank you, you so much for being here! Yes, thank you! Everything's just a winner. Now, Chuck, home cooking is available now. And good news for our studio audience, and hopefully Cynthia and me, you're all going home with a copy! <laughs> Closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.